So it's the end of June and this is our end of month roundup and tour of the plot. As you can see we've got lots of plants in this time. I think last month, the end of last month, half the plot was still covered in uh, the Mypex and now we're down to our last sort of half strip of it. We've just revealed this bit, this is the next area we're going to work on and as you can see when we roll it back we've got quite a few weeds to dig out. Actually a lot of those weeds are raspberries, this plot did have quite a lot of raspberries when we inherited it and despite our best efforts they are insisting on coming up. So we've got quite a um, lot of potatoes in now. Our first earlies are beginning to look a bit sad and we're going to have a go at digging some of those up and seeing whether we've got any potatoes. Uh, so we've got uh, probably Red Duke of York uh, will be the first to come up as it was the first to go in. And here are our main crop which are Salad Blue producing these really beautiful little blue flowers. So, um, so that's good news. And then down here we've got the seeds that we planted coming up. Um, beetroot, carrots, uh, parsnip and salsify. Um, there's a few weeds there because the parsnip is slower to come up than some of the other things and it's um, kind of tricky to identify so that's why uh, there's a few weeds in there. Um, super excited about our tomatoes because we're beginning to get tomatoes. I'll just go round to show you and that help me get my way through. Um, so we've got here, this was the first um, clutch of tomatoes that I spotted and they're getting really big and we're getting lots of others and then I think this one here is the black Russian so they're looking very very good um, and then down here oh we've got cat come to visit. We've um, got lots of courgettes, different types of courgettes, some green, some yellow and they have been producing an absolutely fantastic crop and we've even been trying some of the flowers in the salads and, uh, and they're quite tasty. Here you can see um, a yellow courgette here, yellow and green, that I think is zephyr and part of it goes green and part stays yellow so that's rather fun. Um, these ones here, this plant's looking a bit sad. Um, we think that that uh, has been attacked by um, snails at the base so that's a bit annoying. Got a row of lettuces there that we've had some really good crop of leaves from. And then here the aubergines are just starting to flower. So we've got aubergines all the way along the fence because we thought that the tin would give them a bit of extra warmth that they would um, enjoy. And then the um, other thing I should mention is our bird scarer here which is, uh, there's not a lot of breeze but um, I'll cut to a shot of it flying and you can see the effect um, and that's made by a friend of ours, Carl Longbottom, who is um, a really excellent kite designer and he also makes bird scarers. So, so that's this half of the plot. Um, so coming through this way we've got some more aubergines gone in there that was our second sowing and the aubergines were um, two sorts pot black and rosa bianca so I'm really looking forward to seeing how they got on the rosa bianca formed much smaller plants so I'm not sure um, whether they'll produce anything but um, we we live in hope and then here 
we've got our sweet potatoes they will need a support structure they'll need some canes to grow up but they um, are not long in and then we've got uh, leeks here um, one or two have been attacked probably by birds um, but I think we should get at least some leeks from it and we've got basil now we are going to be all right for pesto because we've got quite a lot of basil basil there more basil here um, Andrew made a raised bed for them and we've also got a pot with more basil so uh, it's just as well that uh, we like basil and of course when we get those lovely Rus black Russian tomatoes all we need is the mozzarella to go with it these are ridge cucumbers I'm just going to see if I can see a cucumber at all I think that's one down there looking a bit bumpy um, so Andrew started to make a framework uh, for them to grow up so we'll tie them in um, to that structure and just raise them off the ground our ochre is looking as if it's established pretty well so um, so that's coming on nicely obviously we won't be harvesting that until right at the end of the year but that is something to look forward to and these are um, some sweet peppers that we were sent to try despite the fact that there's chili peppers there i think they're sweet pe peppers they're called lunchbox mix um and they are a small pepper the idea being that you can put it in your lunchbox i suppose so i don't think it will be chilies but we'll wait and see and then here we have some beans now unfortunately the first beans we put in got uh, destroyed by snails almost overnight um and we sowed some seeds and some the ones that have survived are growing nicely and the seeds are coming up so i'm hopeful that we will still get some some beans and here we have cucumelons um something new i'm very much looking forward to trying these let's just try and zoom in on a little cucumelon there it wants to focus on what's behind um let's come around this way see if we can get a shot of it there's one there so they are still very very tiny but they've established nicely and next to them just on the corner we have some lab lab beans didn't get super germination with those so so we've just got a few of those now here i didn't mention it last month but here we have rhubarb you may remember that the rhubarb was um, dug up by the mini digger we put it in one of our raised bags and it seemed to be growing away quite, quite nicely and then it started to fade and die back and we thought we would try planting it out in the allotment and it died completely or so we thought and then it's come back again so it is the ever returning rhubarb um, so there we go uh, we've got a few more tomatoes along here and we also have some we've sown some artichokes because we thought our garlic had failed but you can see we've got the beginnings of garlic coming through we planted it very late and then when it didn't show itself we put the um, artichokes in and we're beginning to get one or two indications of um, of garlic and then our elephant garlic uh, two lots here at the end doing quite nicely so as you can see the first earlies here are looking um, a bit sad they did get hit by um, some hail and that seemed to break a lot of the stems and I think we're at the stage where we're going to sort of um, try uh, a little um, dig and see if we can um, get some potatoes up so that's it really the only other thing to mention is um, the water container here which is going to form the basis of a watering system so watch the space and then our <laughs> courgettes and pumpkins in the raised bag have gone absolutely wild they really have We've had some fantastic courgettes and we're beginning to get 
little pumpkins appearing. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, in beginnings of a pumpkin coming and in there as well. So that's something to look forward to. Our experiment with trying to grow radishes has sort of been overtaken by that and we're under here we do also have some carrots and they've been completely swamped so we may have to sort of abandon that. The salad crops here um, I'll just cut to a shot of how it looked before we came this evening. Andrew's had a tidy up and we're going to have a think about what we put in that bed. We've got some more um, courgettes and pumpkins and there's some more artichokes to go in if we can find the space and our herb beds have not done brilliantly um, so we're starting to put some patty pans in and we've got a patty pan there but this one here unfortunately we've discovered tonight has been eaten so that is disappointing and we do have a real problem with slugs and snails that is a real battle to keep on top of um, so that is where we are there's really not very much in the greenhouse at all um, and uh, it's all you know most of it has been brought down here and sort of planted in and we're going to uh, in the strip we've uncovered um, direct sow um, some crops for later in the year um, turnips swedes that sort of thing uh, and cabbages and um, so watch this space to see how that develops <laughs> 